Manhattan prosecutor Alvin Bragg is backtracking now on some of his controversial soft on crime policies. He's backtracking after only a month. Crime is getting worse in New York, up 60% in the past week. Violent crime across the Big Apple was up last year as well. Murders by 4%, assaults by 10%, shootings were up by 100%. Earlier this year, the DA sent a memo just after he was inaugurated saying he would only incarcerate killers and rapists. His approach largely meets the demands from social justice activists who pushed reform in the wake of George Floyd's death. Some of the changes in New York include the removal of stop and frisk. Now, Democrats are distancing themselves from these reforms after facing backlash from the public. We bring in co-founder of Black Lives Matter Greater New York, Hawk Newsom. Hawk, good to see you. Thank you for uh, being here. Uh, Eric Adams, who we'll get to in a minute, he ran on a tough on crime policy and message. But Alvin Bragg, the DA, did not. Is him going back on these sentencing guidelines and prosecutorial guidelines betraying groups like yours? No, I think Alvin Bragg has to play a bit of politics. I think for the most part, his policies are intact. He has the church behind him. And let's think about who Alvin Bragg was. Alvin Bragg was one of the special prosecutors assigned to prosecute police misconduct cases. This man is no idiot, but he sees no purpose in jailing people when they could be posed with other alternatives that might actually help them and make them more productive members of society. We've been trying this for a while, though, in New York. Obviously, uh, before Eric Adams, you had Bill de Blasio and his policies, which were certainly, in the past couple of years, very reform-minded. How long do we let these, this experiment go on before the rise in crime is simply unacceptable? Well, I, I, I thank you for this opportunity to teach. Um, Bill de Blasio wasn't necessarily a uh, friend or an advocate for the Black Lives Matter movement. He tried it. He ran on a platform that said he was going to do all of these great things as far as Black Lives Matter went. But his policies were extremely different. While he was saying that police would not kettle protesters, police were outside kettling protesters at that very moment. While he was saying that he would not prosecute people for crimes of poverty, like fare evasion and, you know, hopping a train and things like that, he was still prosecuting those people. Bill de Blasio well, well, was a fraud on, but and a buffoon. Hold on. Uh, that's not really his decision who to prosecute and who not to. That's the up to the police and to the DA, right? But you just said that Bill de Blasio right, he, was he, responsible for these soft on com politics. Right, right. I'm saying, but I'm just saying, clear you, it up. You, Help me understand what you're trying no, to say. But I'm, no, no, his, he was clearly, and you said this, his talking points were clearly more progressive than Rudy Giuliani or Michael Bloomberg, correct? I, I love that you said talking points because that's exactly what they were. They were talking points. He didn't do anything other than that which we had to twist his arm to do. Let's face it, this man kept a cop to kill Eric Garner on payroll for six years. We had to fight to get a trial so, so, to get this man so fired. You, as, I, as I see it right now, you're saying de Blasio didn't do anything that you all wanted except when you twisted his arm. But now you've got he, Alvin Bragg who is, is fully implementing the Black Lives Matter idea on sentencing and on prosecutions and therefore the experiment begins now. You want to point the finger at Alvin Bragg and, and, and the country loves to do that. But under I'm not Eric pointing the Adams, finger. You're, I'm, saying, under, I'm asking if under, he's doing under, what you want him to do. Okay, let's not get into the semantics. Just let me make my point. Other than Alvin Bragg, you have Eric Adams who took office, who's pro-police, pro-law and order, and seven police officers have been shot since he took office. Okay, this is a man who has no responsibility for his actions. He's a lot of talk, and we need somebody who doesn't talk the talk, I, but you walk your, the walk. Right, and walking He's putting the, people in danger. Walking He's the putting walk, people in hold, danger. Hold on. Walking the walk might be locking up the people who ended up shooting these other officers. There's a lot of these people who were out who would not be out but for the Alvin Bragg style policies. Are you really, are you really blaming okay, Eric okay. Adams See, here, for the Here's the thing, the here's, here's what you're talking about. There is no data that says the majority of these people who are committing these crimes were released on bail. Now people are saying crime is up. Are guilty verdicts up? What are the stats on prosecution of these cases? You have Eric Adams wait, 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 who is there's... out here talking about, just let me make this one point. 
they criticized me for my argument and then that feud I had with Eric Adams. But in actuality, he brought Joe Biden into New York to talk about a holistic approach to uh, uh, crime, which meant they are taking on the approach that we recommended. OK, which means sending former gang members, former felons into these communities to fight the crime themselves. Statistics have shown uh, uh, studies from research from Princeton University and, and a number of other scholars have shown that for each uh, nonprofit community cure violence you invest in, the murder rate decreases by 1%. Right, and, and, now, and, I, and I can back. show you, hold on, and I can show you the University of Utah study that shows that when you let people out on no on recognizance bails and when you allow felons out on bail again, 50% of them reoffend. So we can go back and forth on studies. Recognizance bail working. has always been a policy in New York. Right, and, and every, through Giuliani, and, and, and through and Bloomberg, that's work. always been a policy. Hold, hold on, but I need you to get your facts together. I, my facts are together, and it doesn't work. People are more people who commit crimes are more so likely to commit Giuliani more crimes. So you're saying Giuliani had policing They're wrong more here? To he had more the bail this, policy wrong this here. Is, this is the question I want to ask you. You said that Biden was President Biden came for this holistic approach on crime. So what I feel I'm hearing from you is that you feel as though Alvin Bragg and Eric Adams are in one way or another sort of saying one thing and playing politics and telling people what they want to hear, but at the same time doing what you all want. I'm trying to understand. I think that Alvin Bragg is doing what he has to do. He so made he doesn't really some... believe in this stuff. No, I think he. I think he absolutely does. I didn't endorse his campaign after a phone call with him because he worked for the AG's office and he didn't successfully prosecute cops. I didn't believe in him. I was truly surprised when he came out with this radical agenda. Being someone who went to law school and and can appreciate good negotiation tactics, maybe he threw that large list out you out there so people could bite and he can settle on what he really wanted. But I am not him. I can't guess on that. Now, if you're talking about Eric Adams. Eric Adams has, has talked about being tough on crime, but he never really gave us a plan. He never really gave oh, us a plan. Bringing, he said bringing that, back the plain closed units? Is the, a part the, of the plain plan? closed unit, which he backtracked on. Yeah. He said that they would be plain closed. Now he's saying that these officers would be easy identi easily identifiable. This man is a flip flopper. <laughs> this is the same man who gave me a citation, gave me an award. This yeah. is the same man who, who, who gave me kudos during the height of the Black Lives Matter movement. You got to get up to speed, man. I don't believe in these politicians, and your viewers shouldn't either, because they're yeah. full of it. We need to believe in the American people, and that means that if you want to fix if, crime, then you should fix poverty and invest in the people. Not, not believing in the politicians may be a good place where we can all start. Hawk, it was good to see you. We appreciate you coming on. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Click the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.